between Iron Chef Mario Batali and today's challenger, Chef Ian Shanam Uh What is going to happen here? It's anybody's guess. I do know that so far in this battle, it has been piped a lentil parade. We have a pasta dough that was made from lentils and a lentil stuffed tortellini on Iron Chef Mario Batali's side. He has made a lentil vinaigrette with lentils, herbs, and olive oil, and lentil crusted langoustines, which are actually under the salamander as we speak. On the challenger side, we have the limestone lentil batter that was fried to become this cute little flower shape. Uh, we have a lentil ice cream and some yellow lentils and coconut milk dumplings of some sort. There's about eight minutes left in the battle. Let's get back to the action on Chef Ian's side. We see him straining out this herb sauce. Looks like maybe a soup base that he's got sitting on some paper towel over on his side with something, I don't know what that green is. That may be some more of that cilantro. It may be some pepper basil. I'm not sure. So many different herbs being used in that kitchen today. Some fish sauce now going into that mixture that's straining. We can see Chef Ian dosing that out. And the salad, that beef, and I was right. I was right for once. Beef salad uh, going into this really nice little earthenware container in a cone of rolled banana leaf that's been laid out there. So it's a combination of the grilled beef, the lentils cooked with turmeric and chilies, and I think the long beans are in there too. Our Chef Mario Batali coming around to the front of the uh, counter as he slowly starts spooning out his goods. He's spooning that chorizo mixture in the duck confit reduction. It's almost like a soup. Back to Chef Ian's team. Earlier we saw them stuff those uh, little uh, fried flour-like cups with the hamachi and fried peanuts. Those are now being plated in the mold used to fry them. A unique plating device since I've never actually seen that sort of mold before now anyway. And now we can quickly jump back to the Iron Chef side. We've got Anne's cutting kind of a, a wide fettuccine kind of thing. So she rolled out the little pasta, stacked it, and folded it up. Fancy. She's got fettuccine. We know that there's a saucepan that I know has got a milky, buttery thing, so I'm still holding that there's going to be some form of an Alfredo uh, served here today. Looks like Iron Chef Vitali is bringing some microgreens to the party. Mark, what do you need? Cook everything now. I want it all done. Okay, it's done. Iron Chef feeling a little pressure. Certainly a rare occurrence here. Uh, the plating continues over on the challenger side, and Kevin, you've been close by. Fill me in. Sous Chef Anne on the challenger side is working with some green curry paste. Well, I saw the green curry paste coming out of the pan, and I'm still not sure where it's going. Of course, we still have the ice cream uh, yet to come, uh, and it'll be interesting to see how he serves that. Okay, well, it's had green curry paste on the challenger side. We've now had some coconut milk, some turmeric, and some palm sugar added. Iron Chef Mario Batali working with those langoustines, now removing the meat from the shell. And now he's taking the meat and the shell over to that plate with the romesco sauce. Uh, the langoustine has the panko lentil crust on it. I just had three things of microgreens here. Who took them off got, my station? I got, it, I got it. Please put them back. Mark, we're behind. Well, the Iron Chef's really feeling the pressure now. I want all three of them right now. Well, over on the challenger side, uh, we can see the duck that has been cooked in that immersion circulator. And indeed, as you can see from the cross section on that meat, cooked just identically all the way across. It got the quick sear in the pan and its own fat and duck fat. Looks like we've got some arugula bubbling away in a fryer. That's what uh, Amber L's doing. Maybe baby spinach. I can't tell from here. Milk and butter bubbling away on the Iron Chef side. I've been calling that an Alfredo sauce in the making. Whether I'm right or wrong, I don't know. That is spinach Anne is working with in okay, the deep fryer. She's frying, frying some spinach, which will make it not only mighty gosh darn crispy, uh, but also extraordinarily uh, green because the color will set. We can see Anne over on the challenger side wrapping that uh, spice lentil mixture up in a very interesting shape in that banana leaf. The filling is actually the saffron rice with some colored lentils. It's uh, banana leaf origami here. Three minutes to go. Iron Chef Mario Batali back on the front of the uh, kitchen plating. Right now he's building a, a tower there. That's the uh, Kotakino sausage with the caviar lentils. We'll see if he continues to build onto that dish. Also on the Iron Chef side, Mark Ladner is giving that lentil fettuccine a toss in the cream sauce. And now that Frico is going down on the uh, Kotakino tower. What else? Uh, they've got the langoustine dish and the duck confit. Uh, there's now some crispy pancetta on that dish too. Now I can see his cuttlefish. Uh, that was cooked with the lentils. He's spooning that into the basic white bowl there. So that's uh, one, two, three, four dishes. Uh, Challenger side, still working at it over there. Uh, it's plating time. Uh, they're down to the wire and they all look a little confused. It can happen when you're not in your own kitchen. All right, back to the Iron Chef. Uh, as Alfredo is coming together nicely, uh, some yellow lentils are already in there and now some brown are going in. It's an interesting dish. Uh, over on Chef Ian's side, I can see him working uh, with that lentil ice cream, making a, a little kinel there that's going down on a plate. So that'll be a dessert, I, I assume. He's also got the hamachi tarts, the beef salad. Uh, he's got a soup that is paired with the crusted scallops as well. Right now, he has the banana a leaf pot uh, fitted with the sous-vide duck. And well, those little coconut things that Anne was making over on the Challenger side, they're not going to use them. They must not have been happy with the way they turned out. Uh, the question is, is was that going to be a sixth plate, or are they going to have to now switch hit and put something else in in its place? 
whatever change is being made by Chef Ian, um, his face shows utterly no panic whatsoever. 60 seconds left and counting. Our Chef Mario Batali doing uh, some fine last minute plating. Fried spinach. Here you go. There you go, beautiful. Ann Burrell uh, handing over uh, those fried baby spinach leaves, which uh, Mark Lawner is now placing in that opened Taylor Bay scallop. Uh, that's on the cuttlefish dish. Oh, and the lentil fettuccine's down. 30 seconds to go. Jeff Ian now topping the lentil ice cream canal with what looks to be some coconut cream sauce. Uh, it's a rather simple dish. Uh, maybe that's where those coconut balls were supposed to go. A quick little chiffonade of parsley. Parsley. And there goes Mark in search of some parsley. The challenger, Jeff Ian, still working with that ice cream. Now it's getting a garnish of, of all things golden lentils. So it's going to be an interesting course. Parsley chef. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, two one. one. Walk away. Battle Lentil is history. Never a bad thing to finish with some flair, Elton. Let's get down to the floor with uh, Kevin Brosh and uh, find out what is on the mind of our competitors here today. We're going to talk to uh, challenger Shalom Kitty Shy. Chef, congratulations. Welcome to Kitchen Stadium. One of your sous chefs were working on those little coconut cups and then yeah. we didn't see them used. Did you change because the strategy? We support the serve with the ice cream. Unfortunately, the, uh, the iron pan was kind of like stuck, so we couldn't serve it today. Well, congratulations nonetheless. Good job. Thank you. Over to Iron Chef Mario Batali. Was it a walk through Lentil Park? No. It didn't look like it, it was, but I was going to leave that bumpy, to you. A bumpy road spiked with lentil moguls. <laughs> and uh, we're up against probably one of the, sh the chef of my favorite restaurant in New York City, so we're always nervous. You know, it'd be nice if we just tied, then we can each go to each other's <laughs> restaurants. <laughs> All right, Iron Chef Mario Batali. To the judges in the tasting, but first, Alton, back to you. Well, kids, our uh, battle may be over, but don't be sad. Judgment's coming when Iron Chef America returns. Saturdays, you can have your cake and eat it, too. Nothing could beat that. L.A. Krieger gives you a delicious makeover. I break out the good stuff. By shaping up your menu. Made healthier with a few simple changes. Without sacrificing taste. I'll show you. Healthy Appetite with L.A. Krieger. Saturdays at 1, 12 Central on Food Network. I want to wear something.